hearken to these words. This is a tale of strife, misery, anguish, and victory over the element of water. Minds were broken. Souls rent in twain to make art. Gather round and hear me. That's how I'm kicking off the channel. Welcome. I'll be making videos on art and philosophy, as well as unsolicited opinions, although I might leave those largely contained to a secondary channel. I'm actually pretty new to watercolor. I think I made less than 10 pieces in my entire life, and so I just like the medium, trying to find my style and hopefully get a career in illustration someday. But for now, let's get into the process of painting a moose man. Why a moose man, you may ask? What even is a moose man? Well, theoretical questioner, that's because I wanted to paint a moose man, and why would you ever think I even know what a moose man is? So let's begin. I began with a simple sketch, using a couple reference photos of moose skulls and a photo I took of myself in background man's pose. Then, I started coloring in the lights of the composition to give myself a few clues as to how to go about painting other areas. And, I'm not a big fan of pure straight white, so I made a light wash of some fun colors in hopes that they would show through later. Also added some tree shapes using blues in the background and purples in the foreground. I kept them loose to give them a shimmering ethereal quality later on when I dial in on some details. Now that it's dry, I'm just adding in some color for the lamppost highlights so I know what areas to avoid when I go in to give the characters base washes of color. emphasizing some trees and adding splashes to keep them out of focus while still being interesting. Now that the unplanned elements are in place, I'm just trying to add some more to the atmosphere of the wet on wet, um, techniques. I'm, I'm winging it really and learning as I go. I'm using watercolor pencil for all of this and I think this is the first time I applied the pencils directly to the paper. I'm fine with the colors being pretty saturated and vibrant at this stage seeing as I intend on making these areas much darker later. Although, due to my lack of experience, the gaudy colors did make me feel less than optimistic about this painting's future, resulting in me avoiding it for a few days. As you could probably tell, I used a lot of blue for this, and so my blue watercolor pencil needed some sharpening. I think one of the reasons I'm drawn to watercolor is that perfection is almost impossible. The water has a mind of its own and so it's easier to let go of it. However, I think this piece in particular did teach me a valuable lesson, which is that even if I know to trust the process, it's going to take a lot more practice for me to actually wholly trust the process. True knowledge really does come from application. When I was ready to come back to it, I applied some light blue watercolor pencil to the skull to hopefully reflect the sky. This did not turn out as I wanted, but what the hell. Adventure, right? I strengthened the blues on the clothes while adding dark purple to the darkest areas to increase the contrast. Not just in values, but color. After activating the colored pencil marks, I used the opportunity to let the water run where it may through certain areas to add more abstractions. Most stages in watercolor are ugly stages, aren't they? The characters contrasted too much with the environment for my taste, and so I went in with the dark purp- You know what? Screw it. Where are my pencils? Ah, magenta. Okay, so I used a magenta watercolor pencil to darken their overcoats as well as the moose man's scarf, seeing as that bright red was sticking out like a breathing dog after a SWAT raid. Also added some dark blue to the skull's nose to add depth. That one's actual color is... Helioblau Rotlich. I'm just gonna keep the same dark blue if it's all the same to you. Alright, point of no return, baby. Here we go. Now for the inking. With the aid of my trusty 
extra fine, precise rolling ball V5 by Pilot. Truly the best tool for the job. And a few final touches here. I'll probably get a fountain pen later with ink that isn't water soluble. I'm only inking areas that I think are absolutely essential for the image to read. I also lifted some of the pigment from the Mooseman's eyes to make them glow better. But alas, my efforts were in vain. It looked so very two-dimensional. I didn't plan properly. The image was stale. Lifeless! Without proper highlights. In my despair, I cursed the very gods of art for my abomination. I resolved to take the very hand that wrought such ugliness upon this mortal plane. But then, in my dismay, a friend appeared. Small, unassuming. He came to me and offered me opaque highlights I could only dream of with pure watercolor. Yes, my salvation was at hand. I was able to control the temperature of the gouache with light blue and yellow watercolor pencils. <laughs> Apologies for this shot, but I can assure you my cameraman's family went hungry that night. I was finally able to add those brighter cool tones to the skull thanks to the gouache's opacity. Here, I embellished the light from the lamppost with a few different shades of yellow and orange gouache, and I added a cool tone to the upward-facing planes on the man's face. I also added brighter turquoise gouache to the moose eyes. Again, all white gouache, just tinted with watercolor pencil. Yeah, now we're talking. As you can see, the tape posed absolutely no challenge whatsoever to my superior strength and dexterity. See? Easy peasy. And of course, it's not a proper watercolor without more splashes. I tried adding in a glowing winter flower at the base of the lamppost, like an ice cap from World of Warcraft, but it didn't really show up and so I decided not to mess with it further. And here is the final result. I added a few extra details, more splashes, cool highlights on the scarf so it looked less like a big red penis around his neck. I'm actually pretty satisfied with the result. I think I'm finally starting to settle into my own art style and I'm actually pretty excited to see where else my art takes me. Fear or not, I did finally get a tripod, so hopefully in the future you'll be able to see what I'm doing a little bit better. I know some of those camera angles were a little bit uh, awkward. Sadly, I did just score a high paying job where I'm going to be working 5 to 6 days a week, 10 to 12 hour shifts, so I'm not going to be having a whole lot of time for making videos or even art, but I do intend on increasing my output at some point in the future. So, be sure to smash that dislike button and leave your cruelest comment down below. Beautiful, isn't it? Farewell. And so it was that man conquered the elements of water. If this single jack arse can bring water itself to heal, then what are your excuses, lads and lasses? Go out there, bring pain to your foes, seduce that monarch, Write a good, fast and furious movie script. Your fate is in your hands. Tuya! <laughs>